confusion. My journey began in the summer of 2016. Uh, my husband and I were planning uh, my 40th birthday and we decided to just go to New York because I love Broadway. And so I kept having pain and I remember rubbing like, oh, it's just anxiety, it's not a big deal. And then when I was in New York, kind of noticed some subtle breast changes. Um, the nipple on the right had kind of pulled back in and I thought, oh, that's not good. I, I think I have, I just, I don't know why, it's a gut feeling. I, I'm sure people have heard that a million times, but in that moment I thought, all right, I have breast cancer. So we finished out our vacation and I just happened to have my yearly gynecological exam and I went in and I mentioned to her that I was having pain right here. And she did her self, her manual exam and didn't feel anything, but said I, now that I was 40, it was time for a mammogram. So I went by myself and they did the mammogram and I went to sit in a room and the ultrasound technician came in and pulled me into the next room and she's like, okay, I'm gonna get you all set up and then the radiologist will be in to do your biopsy. And I said, what, what, what do you mean? And she said, well, you came in for a lump. And I said, no, I had breast pain, but she, the doctor couldn't feel anything. And she's like, oh. I'll be back and she left and then she went and got the radiologist. On the mammogram we saw something in the upper inner part of the breast that we think we should further evaluate with ultrasound and uh, if you're available we could go ahead and do that in just a few minutes. The following week I went to meet with the nurse navigator and she gave me the news that I had um, breast cancer. Yours is considered a triple positive, and what that means is it's fueled by estrogen and progesterone. And then one in five breast cancers have a protein on it that is more active on that cell, and that's, that's called HER2 new. And you also have that HER2 new positive. Hi, Sandy Kingsley. I'm here for an infusion. I was diagnosed um, in August of 2016. I actually just felt a like a lump in my breast and kind of just let it go because, I don't know, I was in school, I was finishing up my bachelor's in social work and I had a month left, I was doing an internship and I didn't think much of it. I don't have a family history of breast cancer. And then by August, it started to kind of hurt. Initially, my primary care sent me for a mammogram and an ultrasound, biopsy, and so forth. And so initially I was diagnosed triple negative. I did my radiation and then they started me on Herceptin, which is a targeted therapy. And I was then in remission and feeling great. I do Taekwondo, so I went back to my Taekwondo and got my black belt in Taekwondo the next year. And I went back to school and I did an 11 month of uh, my master's in social work. And again, feeling great. I, walked across the stage and got my master's degree. And then that night, I woke up dizzy, nauseous, fell, hit my head, went to the hospital, and that's when they did some routine uh, CAT scans and found it in my lungs and in my liver. I had an MRI because I was still waking up dizzy and nauseous, and they found it in my um, brain as well. When I first went through breast cancer, I thought this is easy, actually. I never thought that I'm gonna die from this disease. It went pretty easy as far as chemo, radiation, and surgery, and I thought I was free and clear. It, maybe it just went too easy. The thing about breast cancer is it's not one disease, it's a whole host of diseases. Okay. So our goal is to choose the best treatment for your particular disease. Right. And to that light, we did present your case at our tumor board. Okay. Tumor board is made up of a panel of people who all take part in breast cancer. Okay. Medical oncologists and radiation oncologists and pathologists and we looked at all of our biopsies and our images. Okay. We came up with a plan. I'm Hi. Sandy. Hi Sandy, I'm Katie. Nice to meet you Katie. Nice to meet you too. Uh, have Hi. you been here for infusions before? 
Yeah, I come here every three weeks. Okay, yeah, so do I. Yeah? Mm -hmm. I've had a really great response to my infusions. Good. So right now my scans show that I don't, no evidence of disease. Nice. But you okay. know, like with that stage four, there's no cure, so. Exactly, so it's like that forever fight. Like right. when I was first going through it, I was like, okay, there's different stages. Like I gotta get through my chemo, I gotta get through my surgery, I gotta get through my radiation, then we're done. Yep. And then now with it metastatic, I'm like, this is forever. It like is. you keep doing treatments until they run out of medications at work or until you're, right too exhausted to fight I just it's a new normal that's kind of just exactly it know. just disrupts the whole family like I'm like now I've got this master's degree and I can't even use, use it, it or I don't even know how right. to use it because it's like how do you apply for a job and go well I also need you know so-and-so sick days so that I can get my infusions and I need these days so I can get scans and when I did my intake for my breast cancer with my nurse navigator okay. she mentioned a program called it's a breast thing have you heard of that? No, what is that? Here it is. So it's okay. it's a breast thing. It is a nonprofit that offers grants to help with um, women with some of their financial issues with, oh, with man, breast cancer. Oh man, that would be fantastic. Oh, um, that's but, fantastic. But I've heard really great things about the program. They help okay. residents of Clinton, Eaton, Ingham, and Shiawassee County. Perfect. So how did you hear about us? Well, I was talking with a friend of mine, Katie, when we were at our infusion, and she was telling me about it's a breast thing. My expenses, even with private insurance, are like $1,000 for every infusion. 